completed in the summer of 2021, our new Health Sciences Center is filled with state-of-the-art equipment, spacious classrooms, cutting-edge labs, and serene student lounges that feature stunning mountain views. This 55,000 square foot facility allowed us to add two new healthcare programs and allowed all of our other 14 to gain precious space that can be used for hands-on learning. So we invite you now to come on inside and take a quick tour of our new and expanded healthcare learning space. Yes, our new building is absolutely high tech and beautifully designed, but the true key to the success of our health sciences division is our kind, caring, and giving faculty. They're dedicated to making you the best healthcare professional you can possibly be. Now we're going to introduce you to some of our instructors and students who will show you around and tell you some of the exciting aspects of their programs. I'm Eric Hester, the program coordinator for the EMS curriculum. What makes a good EMS student is one that can, one, put the work in, not only in class, but out of class. And one that strives to actually learn as much as they can, even more than what we teach them. And they actually apply it in real life. My name is Kobe Brooks. I am a first year student in the EMS program here at Southwestern. This program is helping prepare me for real world experiences, working for an EMS agency and preparing me with skills and knowledge that I will need in order to save lives. What drew me to this field was I had my life saved by a paramedic. I raced dirt bikes for a hobby and I was really injured on a track way out in the middle of nowhere and there was a paramedic crew on standby there just seeing them in action and the way that it made me feel to be in their care and how they helped me really influenced me to want to be that person for somebody else and help other people and do the best that I can. My name is Cody Proctor and I'm a second year student here at Southwestern Community College and I'm in the Health Information Technology program. The kind of people that are going to be successful in this field are folks that can you know, manage and maintain themselves, they don't need to be around a lot of people. One big thing about Health Information Technology is that folks can work remotely, which is a big perk. They can use tools that are provided by whatever company they work for and just kind of manage their own time. A lot of times they'll be monitored as they go through things, but that's, that's a big plus. Folks that don't need to be constantly supervised and micromanaged. We focus on being the hope and the light that people need during the darkest times of their life. We want to empower our students to overcome adversities so that they can teach others how to overcome their adversities. We focus on giving our students the tools and techniques that they need to be able to serve their communities, to be able to serve families who are hurting. We focus on things like social work, we focus on interviewing skills, and being able to really connect and meet the needs of the people in the community. We have a two-year degree program here that focuses on basic interaction, basic care, basic love of the community. And so we focus on our students first, so that they can be a blessing to their communities. My name is Caroline Foster and I'm a second year student at Southwestern Community College in the medical assisting program. In medical assisting we do a wide variety of different things, anywhere from clinical to more office procedures, scheduling appointments, billing and coding, along with hands-on like assisting with minor surgeries. What I enjoy most about medical assisting is getting to know people and really just interacting with patients. Um, I wanted to be a teacher but I feel like being in the medical field you can also teach people with like um, patient education. The medical assisting program at Southwestern Community College was recently ranked number two in the nation and there are many jobs that are available right now, anywhere from Silva to Franklin, Clayton, Georgia to Asheville. There are jobs everywhere. My name is Diana Sandoval and I'm a first year uh, MLT student. In the MLT program we strive to help doctors diagnose their patients and help um, improve their health overall by providing labs and test results that might be able to aid 
a doctor and providing the correct medications or treatments for a patient. The most enjoyable part about the program is the hands-on labs. You get to actually experiment with urines and blood and serums and get to actually see the background of how things are done in the lab when sometimes it is closed doors and you don't get to see that in a hospital setting. If you're gonna succeed in this field, you definitely have to be interested in the material because it's very rigorous. It's very difficult at the beginning because there's a lot of terminology and a lot of challenges that you probably haven't been experienced to unless you've worked somewhere on the field, but it's definitely doable if you put your mind to it. My name is Macy Henson. I'm a second year student in the medical sonography program. Sonography is more than just looking at sweet little babies all the time. We look at the abdomen, we look at men and women from head to toe on vessels, veins, arteries, organs, and even different fluids in the body. While in the sonography program, you begin by learning just the anatomy and physiology of the body how things work in the body and what happens when you have different ailments. So the most important thing is learning how to use the machine, uh, learning the different buttons, different settings that you can use to optimize your image, and to the best of your ability, take as many pictures as you can to prove to the radiologist what you're trying to show. The reason I want to become a nurse aide is because I have a compassion to help others, to help people. Anything that I can do for others, is it helps me. In order to be a good nurse assistant, nursing assistant, I think you would have to have loyalty, you would have to be trustworthy, dependable, hardworking, accountable, just all the things associated with being able to take care of somebody. And we take their vitals and we help the patients with their basic needs. But we do learn how to take blood pressure obviously and we'd learn how to ambulate from bed to the wheelchair then we learn how to take to the restroom or anything to do to help the patient be comfortable. My name is Vacheslav Koja and I'm a second year nursing student at SCC. When I first started nursing school here a year and a half ago or so I thought the facility was very nice. We had a big space and we had nice things available, but once this building became available, I realized what a great improvement this is. We have the simulations labs that are available and create a whole different perspective and a whole different environment, and we, we thrive here. The staff has been very nurturing to us from the beginning. I felt part of a group of a family. They put heart in what they do. I have great appreciation for all the nursing instructors and the other staff that are part of this program. They have been helping us with the skills, with the knowledge, with the transition to practice, with the clinicals. They have been very forthcoming towards us. That's how we got here where we are today. Hi, I'm Peggy Blass. I'm the Academic Field Work Coordinator for the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program at Southwestern Community College. In the Occupational Therapy Program, we in this new building have an extensive lab that allows students to practice with clients who are in a wheelchair or in a walker and help them to use the refrigerator and the stove and the washer and dryer. We also have simulated labs for things like the bathroom where they could actually practice taking a shower or using the, the restroom or the sink. And those kind of things are very beneficial if you have never worked with people in a situation like that before. In addition, we have two new therapy labs. In the pediatric lab, we're able to help students understand that using the same equipment that they would use in a pediatric outpatient or in the school system, how to treat pediatric clients with that equipment. And in the hand therapy lab, we're able to actually treat hand therapy clients using the latest techniques. I'm Rebecca Morton. I'm the program coordinator for the Opticianry program at Southwestern Community College. Opticianry is one of the three main professionals for your eye care. There's ophthalmologists and optometrists, and those are the two doctors that write prescriptions. And then there's opticians. 
Um, and opticians take the prescription written by the doctors and they fill it. But rather than there being just one option to fill one prescription, there's hundreds of options. So what an optician does is they work with the patient, find out what their needs are, and customize their glasses um, using the patient's information and the patient's prescription. I love optician. I fell in love with it. I didn't go to school until I got a taste of the optical environment. And I love it because you get to problem solve every day. You're working with your hands, but you're also working with your mind and you're working with people. And just to be able to take someone's glasses, say they come in and they ran over them with their car, and you can fix that and bring, give them the gift of vision back is really fulfilling or taking a prescription. When you fill it properly, you, a person can be truly delighted with their vision. Um, and it's just a very satisfying thing. I am Andrea Kennedy, Program Coordinator and Instructor for Medical Laboratory Technology and Phlebotomy at Southwestern Community College. Phlebotomists are really critical to the laboratory. They are the frontline workers out there collecting the samples, whether it you know, be whole blood or sometimes urines, and delivering those to the lab for testing. The new Health Science Center at Southwestern Community College has greatly expanded our space for both doing medical laboratory and phlebotomy. We have new phlebotomy stations with phlebotomy chairs that are um, able to be lifted uh, and lowered to accommodate the patient, and there's more space to operate for collection and safety of the sample from the patients. My name is Erin Bogg. I am program director for the physical therapist assistant program. The kind of person that makes a good physical therapist assistant is somebody who has good time management and organization skills, a person who is generally caring, compassionate, has empathy for their patients. As a physical therapist assistant, you get to help others get back to their prior level of function, whether that be from illness or injury. And it's very fulfilling to get to see people be able to do the activities that they once enjoyed that they had to put on hold due to um, various circumstances. I'm Meg Petty. I'm the program coordinator for radiography. The most fulfilling thing, I believe, is the, the patient care that we have, the one-on-one -on -one contact with the patients, but also the process of solving a problem where we're looking for um, test results or through our images we're trying to help the patient determine what's wrong with them. And it's sort of like solving a puzzle where we get to combine the technical aspects with the patient care aspects to get the best diagnosis for the patient. Our new expanded space has helped us um, incorporate more trauma scenarios into our lab. We have a, a much bigger room here and the students are allowed to see through the, the new technology with the monitors and the screens, they're able to see better what we're doing on the lab table. They're able to go to uh, different areas in the departments here, just like a real hospital and we can create scenarios by using other departments and students and making that all come together because now we have the space to do so. Hi, I'm Gretchen Gelcher. I'm the Respiratory Therapy Program Director. The purpose of a respiratory therapist is really to establish an airway and to help them to breathe. And if you're not breathing, you're not doing anything else either. So it's super important. The new and expanded facilities have been a godsend for us, especially for respiratory therapists. Um, we have this nice new lab. We have multiple beds with multiple mannequins and stations. Hands-on learning is so important, especially when it comes to the medical field and respiratory therapy. Doing things on mannequins are, are extremely important. So our state-of-the-art sim lab, it really helps for us um, to teach our students hands-on learning. I'm Melissa Daniels Dolan and I'm the Program Director of Surgical Technology. Surgical Technology is all about being organized, being an integral part of a team. So a desire to work on a team close-handedly, being able to think on your feet, handling an emergency situation that comes without warning, being prepared for anything. It's kind of like being a girl or a boy scout, only we're scrubbed in with the surgeon. Throughout my career, I have been in multiple states and multiple institutions. 
and I've never seen resources like this or facilities that were this clean and spacious and correct. The most fulfilling part of this profession is making a difference in someone's life at a time where they relinquish complete control and are afraid and the unknown creeps in, so we get to make a difference at that time in someone's life. I'm Maria Lyons and I'm in the second year program here at Southwestern Community College in the Therapeutic Massage Program. If you're thinking about doing massage uh, therapy as a career, I think one of the things that you need to be really good at is knowing yourself because massage therapy really helps you dive into exploring different healing arts that help people on a holistic level because massage therapy is about treating the whole body as a whole. In my personal experience, when I first got into the massage therapy program, I did think it was about making people feel good and you know just helping people de-stress. But once I got through the program, I found out what therapeutic massage actually means. And that's treating people as a whole. So we can help people with different issues, different skin issues, because we help the body calm down. So I think massage therapy is coming from a you know, feel good type of, of program to more of a therapeutic, we can actually help support the body. Aren't all of these instructors, students, and graduates amazing? We are extremely proud of them all. And we hope you'll make SCC your first choice for healthcare training. Check out our website for more information or come by and see us today.